Okay, let's take a quick look on how to use components inside of uh, Flash. So what we have are our components are essentially movie clips on steroids and they allow us to do a lot of things inside of Flash without having to write any um, any code. So they're, they're pre-built items that we can use to build something like this like a user forum so we can have the user login information here and we can have a checkbox and, and, and those sort of things and they're very nice too for working with video as well inside of inside of Adobe Flash. We're going to start with just looking at the user interface components and we can get to them by just going to window menu and coming down to components and we want to pull up the components and we also want to pull up the component inspector which allows us to modify the particular components that we've that we have selected. So I'm going to have both of those up inside of our menu. And as you can see in components there's a couple of different sections to to work with. You can use components for uh, flash video inside of your um, your Adobe Flash movie or you can come down here to the bottom and use the user interface components which we're going to take a look at. So we're going to expand this user interface component just by clicking on the plus sign there and kind of drag down and we can see what we have to uh, to work with here. We have we have quite a few to um, to start with. So we're just going to look at at a couple inside of Flash and there um, some of these are pretty self-explanatory and they include a nice icon so you can kind of see what uh, you've probably recognized these on websites before login forms and you can also pretty much tell from the icon what what these individual components do so we're going to drag one down that's going to allow us to have the user input their username or uh, password information here. So we're going to find one that's that's relevant to that. And if we scroll down through the um, through the items, down at the bottom we have two. We have a text area, and we also have a text input component. So I'm going to select this text in com input component. I'm going to drag this right down here inside of our movie. And I'm using my um, my guide here to to line this information up. So I have one down here at the bottom. And I want to just do a quick resize of this component to uh, to drag it out a little bit further here so it reaches for the email. Because typically, the if they're putting in an email, it's going to be a little larger. So we can use our free transform tool and just simply drag that one out there. So we have a little bit more, more space for ourselves. And then we also want to drag down another component to work with the same component here text input and we're gonna drag it down there in the same the same area and we're just gonna make that one just so they're the same we're gonna go ahead and align those up so I want those to be the same the same length and then I'm just gonna tuck this one in here make that a little bit closer for username and I'm gonna make this a little bit closer for the password so they're touching right there um, next to each other. Draw that in some. There we go. So now we have them set up so the user can input their password and their username. Now the nice thing about these components is we can make a couple of changes here right off the bat with the inspector with not having to adjust any um, any action script, not having to write any code in this case. Now what I want you to ping your attention to is the password um, text text input box. Now the nice thing about this is we can set a make a criteria for the password so when the user logs in with this information if I test my movie now and I apply my uh, you know password super secret password of password the this will display and I, I really wouldn't want that happening. You know, I've got a lot of people looking behind my back when I'm at the uh, at the computer screen, so that would just be a terrible idea. People would would get my password and and run off to um, to Spain and and spend uh, an enormous amount of of money on my expense. So what I want to do is turn this password here, these parameters. You want to turn that to true. So a simple change like that. Well now no one has has any idea 
what my super secret password is. And uh, here I, I have these little asterisks so it hides that so in case somebody is behind me, um, they're not going to know my password. They uh, might know my username here, but no password for them. Um, also, you can restrict certain, uh, certain characters in here in this dialog box here. You can also set a, a max character limit. So if you know that passwords are a particular um, only a particular limit in terms of typing, it's a good way to prevent user error. Um, you might have a little note, you know, password limited to five characters, something like that. Um, but you can also limit it in your box so the user won't be able to add any more information there. That would key them in to knowing, oh well it's a five, you know, it's a five character uh, password there. And you can also change and close their um, width and height and so on and so forth. We want to take another look at a um, a component that we have to to use here. So we're going to look at, uh, we'll just move this one over up here a little bit to give us a little bit more room, makes it a little bit closer because that's relevant to these two text boxes. So I want those to be close in proximity. Then I also want to have an ability for the user to save their username and their password. So what I'm going to do in that case is I'm going to create a checkbox for myself. So I'm going to drag this checkbox down and um, drag it down here. And I'm just going to move it over to the right a little bit so it aligns there to my uh, to my guide. And I'm going to have this and I'm going to make sure that I select my um, component inspector. I'm going to close that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on again. And for the label, the checkbox, I actually don't want a label for that. So I'm going to get rid of the label that I have and I'm going to move this up just a little bit and I'm going to actually kind of resize this, control Z, and I'm going to resize that so I have a little bit more room for my text and move my text kind of just right, um, just right next to it there. So I have an option for a username and password. Now what I want to have happen, and you see this a lot on websites, is I actually want this to be set as um, selected. So I want to change my select selected option as true. So now when I test this, that's already checked mark. So the, the password is, is set. I can punch in my uh, password and password here and then I can automatically save that for myself there, have that checked. So I can make certain uh, certain changes like that which are really nice in terms of in terms of flash and there are a handful of other components. You want to be aware of which version of of action script that you're using, which version of flash and that's going to give you access to uh, to different components, but they all work the uh, the same way. And a lot of them are very self-explanatory in how they're how they're controlled in flash. Now, in order for these to to actually be be functional, you would need to write additional action script for these to actually communicate with a database that would check whether or not the user information is is correct and allow them to to proceed. Um, what we're really concerned with here in this tutorial is the look and the design of these particular components and some very quick and easy ways that you can you can change those to make your uh, to make to design your web form make it uh, much more visually interesting.